Okay, so I'd like to start my batch renaming here. We have um, quite a few files within a folder directory. Okay, and let's go ahead and select all the files that we want to rename. And like I said, we're going to um, right click on the one that we wish to be the first one and subsequent uh, files renamed after. So I'm going to select uh, this video one. I'm going to rename. What am I going to rename it to? I'm going to rename it to vid A. Alright, now let's see what happens after I rename this to video A. Well, it's going to rename all the other ones to video A, but it's also going to put a 1 next to it. So now we know that this was the first video, second video, third video, fourth video, and so on. So it's given a common name. Uh, and I'm able to determine which um, files are, you know, relevant to my needs right now. Is I'm going to import these files into a, a video editor. Okay. So again, it's as simple as uh, selecting all. Um, now you can select all that either that way or by going to Home. All right, and then select all. Now it's select all. Now, some ask why you only see name and date modified and type and size here. Well, that's another issue that needs to be um, concerned with. Go to home and you go to share and you go to view. So if we go to view, we'll see this uh, little setting here called add columns. Under add columns, you'll see multiple attributes, the date, modify, type, and size. Well, exactly, what do we see here? We see the date, modify, the type, and the size. If we show date created, well, it's going to add a date created. So, depending on what columns you wish to be shown, you have to adjust this in the add columns. Okay, so if you don't see a modified uh, date there, then you now can see it. And this is important when it comes to importing your file, renaming them, knowing which order to put them in. Okay, so that's a tip or trick for uh, this evening. Hope it helps you out well. Enjoy.